the picks you got this week. I know uh, you you just said that you've been doing a lot of matchups and live oh, betting yeah. on Sunday, but it sounds like you got some outrights for yeah. us here this week. For well, they don't have the matchups listed right yet. You know, I mean, they like to wait on those, especially Bovada. Uh, but I've really enjoyed picking on uh, looking at somebody's golfers. And the way you, I look to read odds, I I look at popular names. Okay. And I look at certain guys that are favorites of the fans, and so does the bookmakers. Okay. I'm not a guy that I bet against all the time, but people love him because he poured beer on himself at the waste management. What's You're going to hurt Ross's feelings here. You're going to hurt Ross's feelings. Is it Damon? Joel Damon. It is okay. Joel Damon. I bet against him because people love him. They go to him. He gets his butt kicked a lot. He does one-on-one matchups. He loses. I pick out certain guys that I think don't have, that have the name, but don't have the game to match. Have three day games out of four. That's how Rory's starting to become. Rory's starting to become a three-day player. Rory at his peak was a four-day player. Now, it's usually the first hole, I mean the first round, or maybe the second round. He can't put four good it's, he's a great golfer, but it just seems like, guys, he can't put four together, and I don't think he ever will. And that's uh, been a and, huge problem for him at Augusta, actually. Well, I think he's shot in the yeah, last five yeah, five or six years, I think he shot under 70 just one time in the <clears> first <throat> round. Like He's only been able to string together three rounds and hasn't been able to do it for the full tournament. So, but and Rory, like you said... He's, He's going to be popular. He's going to be yeah. popular. It's Rory at Augusta. People want to see him compete the career Grand Slam as he's been trying to do for the last 10 years. Is He's also gone on a drought in major championships. But, yeah, Mike, who who are you thinking this week in terms of your outrights? I know you're going to get some matches well, later on in the I'll week, tell you but... what. I like, uh, you know, there are certain guys that have been touted that haven't done crap yet. And I'm just thinking that I think a couple of these guys will come up. The reason I see this is, I think uh, Ludwig Aberg has played well, but he has not done what people have, you know, that, oh, he's the next big thing and everything else. Yet I see that he's uh, ninth favorite at uh, I... plus 3,000. You put out change on him, 25 bucks, 50 bucks. You know, you could win $1,500 or you could play. I think he's definitely a top 20, a top 10 type of guy. I stay away from Rory. That's all the hype. The golf channels praying. They're on their knees during commercials. Rory, please, Rory. Rory, we love you. Don't you think Rory McIlroy is so good? Yeah, what's with the English-speaking girls do? I don't need it. Rory McIlroy. Scotty Scheffler. You know, hey, they got their names. But Rory McIlroy and Jordan Spieth are the first two guys, guys, that are, I'm not taking I'm just pushing them out of the way. Do you agree or not? I think Jordan Spieth is all talk now. I think he talks too much to his caddy. I think he waits too long to hit. I think he thinks too much. I see all these guys. I mean, I see where guys are going to other states to get golf tips from. Just go when you were 20 years old, Spieth. Go up there. Tell the caddy to shut up and play one game where you do all the thinking. I'm serious. And I think you'll see a better speed, but I don't think he's going to change. I think he knows he's a family favorite. They hardly ever criticize him on the golf channel, but he's been a mess, Jordan Speed, for a long time. And they won't say that on the golf channel, will they? They won't say that in the golf world. They, they grab his belt loop and pray to God he's going to be what I thought he was going to be five, six, seven years ago. I thought the way he started, he was going to challenge Tiger, didn't you guys? I oh, thought yeah. he went off right off the beginning, and now he's falling off a cliff. I think Literally. a lot of people. I think a lot of people ha- had that thought, and I'm not really interested in either Rory, no, uh, nor Jordan Spieth. Um, Rory more so for the number that he's at. I just, I just don't think I can get to him at, at ten. To How one, many years but... has it been since he won a major? Fourteen. Ten. It's been 10? since 2014. It's been 2014. since 2014. That's it. But yeah, I mean, me and Ross literally talked last night about Jordan Spieth, like kind of almost in the same way that yeah. uh, you talked about Rory. But instead of it being like three of the four rounds, it's like Jordan 
can't put his entire game together for, for a whole tournament. Like his driving's good one week, but his, his approach is really bad. His putting is a disaster one week. Like there's just inconsistencies in different areas of his game. And you know, people are just like you said, just going to be on Jordan oh, Spieth because it's he's not Jordan the Spieth. eight. And I, I just don't think I can get, get on either of those guys. And I think Ross kind of feels the same way. Yeah, Ross, I mean, what we discussed last night. I mean, I look yeah. at it. Yeah. I look at Kepka. And I, I, I look at Kepka as being fifth, Ross, and I look at Matsuyama. I like Matsuyama at 1,800. I mean, he's I, always I around. Huh? I, 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 do, I do have both in mind. I, I, for me, Brooks is just, even playing on Liv, Brooks is just one of those guys that when he, when he comes in, it's big dick in a locker room. You know why he's here for this tournament. He, he is going to show up. He, he always has, always will. I, I, where it's just hard right. for me to throw him out regardless. Agreed. I mean, reg regardless that he's playing 54 holes over on live and that, and we're switching back to 72. He is just one of those people for me that whenever he shows up, you know that he is going to give his best and be in contention somehow. And, and I'll tell you what, you're right. He's fifth right now at plus 1800. That's a good bet. He's hungry. You know that he misses the adulation. Another guy, Neiman. He's eighth right now at plus 2,500. He's a guy I'm going to put some money on. I mean, he's been, hasn't he been missing in action? I mean, the kid needs a sandwich. He needs to put on some weight. He, but he hits the crap out of the ball. And yet I look at the odds, and he's ahead of guys like Hovland, Benow, Wyndham Clark, Patrick Cantlay. Neiman's one of my picks. They must know, the odds makers, that even though he's been struggling, Augusta and Augusta is made for certain players, and he seems to be one of them. Yeah, it's uh, it feels like Neiman, because of what he's been able to do on live in the last <clears throat> eight months he's the the biggest winner there but it's been a couple uh it's been since february since he got his last win i believe so, yeah uh, ross did yeah. he win yeah that was at uh one the week when the at&t pebble beach but yeah, still and his numbers it, gotten absolutely smashed since then i think he was like 70 to one at one point in time and mm -hmm. now down to 25 to one a lot of people are putting money on joaquin neiman because yeah i could just, tell i can tell the time's coming for him and like you said a really good ball striker um i don't know if i'm personally going to get there but i i think ross ross really liked neiman as well uh, we talked last I, night. I, ross and i are on the same wavelength on a lot of these i'm getting what I, I don't know the weather to worry or be thrilled about this yeah i i <laughs> had neiman in uh, I only had four picks this week. I had Neiman in my four up until this past weekend. Hideki knocked him out of my four. Ooh, okay. Hideki's Hideki been playing well. so good. I mean, since the win at, at Riv, it just like that Sunday flipped a switch in him. Uh, two, two, he had a top 10 at the uh, Arnold Palmer or at the Players' Championship T12 at API. Another top 10 finish last week at the Valero Texas Open. We know he can do it at the Masters. I'm I'm going to find myself on Hideki Matsuyama this yeah. week as well. If so I, all, all three of us are on the Hideki train yeah. here. Uh, I'm gonna, we'll get I, on I, the train, and then the next time we do a show, we'll be bragging, and we'll have new sunglasses and wallets and everything. And, uh, you know, he'll come in real quick. I'm looking at uh, – Tommy Fleetwood and all these other guys that were so good. Cameron Young, Justin Thomas, they're way down on the odds board, man. I mean, I, I, this is one hell of a leaderboard. I mean, when you got Morikawa plus 55, 55 to one, no shot. I think Brian a big Hardy. reason. I think a big reason for that is just because none of these guys have shown that great of form. No. And Scotty Scheffler is just the boogeyman. We haven't talked about him yet on this show. Uh, but Scotty has been on an absolute tear. Two wins in the Florida swing and then nearly did it again at the Houston Open yeah. in his last start out. Missed a five-footer to force a playoff uh, with Steven Yeager. Four to one for Scotty Scheffler. Mike, I've been, I'm not personally going to get there as someone who bets on the PGA Tour week in and week out. But like to other people who may be just like betting for this week because it's the Masters. 
I think like Scotty Scheffler at four to one is probably good oh, value for the average right. better. Like he's probably going to be there on Sunday. You're going to have something fun to watch during the final round. Like he's going to be inside the top five somewhere. It's just whether or not he's going to get it done, but it doesn't sound like you're going to have part of that Scotty Scheffler four to one. I love Scotty Scheffler. Here's the deal. Him and Sam Burns are wifeless this week and staying in a, in the same house that Dustin Johnson fell down the stairs at and ruined his career. <laughs> That's it. I'm done. Not, I mean, not I, doing I, it. I, I just, all I got to say, I mean, I, I know you're focused on the Masters. Okay. You're the number one golfer in the world. But I don't care. When I, when you're with the wives, nice little dinner, have a little glass of wine. Do you know what I mean? When you're with your buddies, you're doing somersaults over the sofa. You're messing around. Scott, and, I mean, I mean, Dustin Johnson fell down a, a flight of stairs. And it was all guys messing around. So I'd like to say Scotty Scheffler is such a big favorite because Rom is second at 1,200. Yeah. At plus 1,200. Scheffler is plus 475. So the only thing I'm worried about is he's hanging with Burns, who can't make a dent, okay, in the tour. But he's, he's, he's on the lead. He's there. He's about 55 to 1. And he's staying with a buddy. That's the only thing that I'm worried about. I know that Ricky... And Spieth and all those guys used to rent a house, which had to be a blast, you know. But you would think, you know what? I think Scheffler will be responsible. I think he's a great pro. And I like that he's favored over Rom. And you guys brought up a good point. I'm anxious to see what the 54 to 72 holes, the difference. I know they're they they're going to play. But I got to believe the PGA golfers are conditioned better right now than the guys that wear shorts and almost hit a lady in the head with a, who's in the, by the green with a blanket and live. I do think that's actually going to be a really interesting thought and maybe something that people didn't consider last year when Brooks Kepka kind of played poorly during that final during that final Sunday when it just seemed like he was out of gas and yeah it's been since the Open Championship since these guys have actually played 72 holes of competitive right. golf so yeah I do think that's a little bit of an interesting angle You think um, that's a thing Ross? Do you think that's a deal? I don't I don't know if it's a huge thing but I think like it it's it's enough to make you consider something else. And we talk, me and Ross talk about, you always got to come up with these, these reasons why you can't, I mean, you can't bet everyone in the field, right? You got to limit some things down. You got to find reasons to get off guys. And I think that could be a reason. Would I don't know you bet just all the live golfers? There's a way you could do this, bet five PGA golfers or bet five live golfers, whether it's top 10 winning what. Which side do you think would win? Which, which which side do you think you walk away with money in? I'm leaning PGA. I'm leaning okay. and I'm I, I'm leaning the PGA because I don't care if you're a boxer and you're used to boxing three rounds, and then they tell you you've got to box six rounds the next fight, and you haven't boxed six rounds. I know it's boxing, but it's still the same thing. You're doing more than you've done over the last year. 